Right, so what's happening with it? Well, the ignition one, come on, it says a uh, error 168, that's what it's been doing. Well, that's what it says on the display. So that seems that's not it. Six eight. Okay, circuit board fault those. Generally. Oh, what's on it? Generally a circuit board fault. So it's damaged. Water there on the top. Look, the rain water that is. You can, you can see it on the flu thing. Well, that's going to be earthed through the chassis. I would imagine if we've got water on there. May not be just as simple as a PCB fault, it's may not. Try another spark generator first. See if that's interfering with it. Possibly, I'm not saying it is, but you wouldn't want to put a PCB on there, would you? Knowing the spark generator could possibly cause it a fault. Mm.
Right, you've got water on top of the boiler, so you've had, looks like you've got rain water coming down. I did wonder about that, yeah. Um, there's water on the spark generator, so generally the E168 bolt points to a circuit board, but sometimes there's something else that can cause the circuit board to go. Yeah. So I'm just going to try a new spark generator on there first to see if that cause it to light because it could yeah. be a stray earth if you've got water on the chassis okay. could affect the earth and that will cause an ignition fault as well okay. oh, um and a pcb fault so we'll just try a spark generator on there now yeah. to see if that makes a difference if not it's pointing towards the circuit board okay. all right okay. all right so i'm just gonna swap this first see if this makes a difference Shazam. Sounds a bit rough, doesn't it? Yeah. Running up top for us. Okay. You see the moisture there? Yeah, yeah, I can see. I'm glad I got that. Glad I saw that because that could have cost you a circuit board if everything else checked out okay. Nothing but magic. Most common faults on these. Yeah. The expansions go flat. Yeah. The electrons twist. You know, which we changed from the other day, I didn't remember. Oh, yeah, 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 same boy. Electros twist. Vertical flues. The seal's there. There's a seal inside there. If you can see it. It slides up. So when we test this in a minute, we'll check the flue integrity. If that slid up or the flue split in any way, then that'll affect the oxygen reading, the air intake. Um, another common fault on this, you take the casing off, it'll be full of water inside. Yeah. yeah, it generally comes from that pipe there. It's split, hairline crack across there, all condensed water will run in here. And what will happen is it'll hit that. It'll hit the detection electrode and it'll throw up an E133 fault. Mm -hmm. So what you see some people have done, which you shouldn't do really, they've picked this up, this lead, and have tucked it over the top of the fan connection, mm -hmm. which in hindsight is good because it's not going to trip it out, but the water hitting that is alerting you that there's a problem inside the boiler. So if you don't, you put it up there, then you just got potential for that corrosive water to rot through the boiler. Um, other common faults, this pressure sensor on the duo tech is down there. It always leaks, it always drips. You just take it out, put some PTFE around it. Thermistor always leaks. Diverter valves, depending on the water quality, water can seep up there into the cartridge and take that out. And the auto air vents leak. Yeah. That yeah. A lot of that's down to water quality. So hopefully, this is going to read fire now. Maybe 
ja. Thank you.